All right, what's going on everybody? So here's the deal. It's been over a week since I've uploaded a video and it's not because I have not been working. It's because we have so many amazing things going on right now. Sarah and I and baby Aria, we're all doing amazing. Sarah's up in Wisconsin with her mom and dad and sister and family. And I'm down here putting together the final touches on a deal that we had decided we weren't gonna say anything until it was done. But due to so many things that are going on in this world, I just want you to know. Sarah and I are that close to signing the deal, signing the contract on a very large piece of ground where we'll have our own home, where the dogs can play in hundreds of acres of land, where we can bring people hog hunting and where we can put out duck boxes and raise animals and grow wild vegetables and hydroponic vegetables and where we can literally live on the land. So that's good. It's taken all of our financial resources and we're not there yet, but we're very close. That all being said, I wanna to skip to another point. My heart goes out to so many people in our country have been, I mean, I, I hate getting into stuff like this, but I wanna say it. Um, my heart goes out to a lot of the people who've been shot for whatever reason by law enforcement in America. It's clearly a big issue. I mean, this isn't the same America from five years ago or 10 years ago. This is a new world that we live in. And my heart goes out to and bleeds for the men and women of the Dallas Police Department who were just sniped for doing their job. I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna leave it alone. I don't care if you're black, white, purple. I don't care what color you are. I don't care. We are all people. We all smile when we're happy, cry when we're sad. We all feel the same thing. So I am so sorry and my heart breaks. I've seen the videos. I've seen the heartache. I've seen the pain. And I am so sorry for all of you. My heart goes out to each and every one of your families. Right here in Jupiter, just down the road, Palm Beach Gardens, Corey Jones was shot. I mean, I just don't get it. But again, I've never been in that situation and I wanna say that I am so very sorry. But let's keep race out of this. It's not about black, it's not about white, it's not about Hispanic, it's not about color. This is about people, and it's a people situation. Folks, let's get this together. America is so beautiful. This is the land of opportunity. Let's stick together, band together, and make it what it should be. I swear to you, this is the best place in the world to live, and I, I cherish all of you as viewers and as subscribers to our channel. You mean the world to us. So with all that being said, today, I'm fishing with Uncle Larry, my Uncle Larry, Uncle Larry Frederick, right here in Jupiter, just going out and having a good day. And when we're done, we're gonna cook a big, beautiful meal. So I love you guys, and I'll see you very soon. But for now, I'm playing with the dogs. All right, everybody, here's the scoop. We got Uncle Larry with us today. We're just going fishing. I have no expectations for today. We're gonna go out here, see what kind of bait we can get, and then we're going fishing. And tonight, we're cooking fresh fish for dinner. Fresh fish for dinner. But we have no idea what that will be. So, you're with us, we're hanging out, we're having fun. Good times. This is our hometown, Jupiter, Florida. Love this place. All right, you guys. First step, anytime you're fishing out of Jupiter, and this goes pretty much anywhere, got to find your live bait. Now, I know you can fish with lures, but we're here to catch fish, and when you're catching fish, you want to see something that looks like that. Look at all that bait. That's unbelievable. And I very rarely do this, but see that GPS number right there? This is one of my favorite little rock piles, and the best way to catch these bait are to come out here, get anchored up, get nice and quiet, and start using number six green sabiki rigs. There they are. And then you wanna just gently 
reel them in. You don't want to reel them too fast. Just like this. And then we got three. All right, so if I had to pick one of my favorite things to do out here, slow trolling live bait. That's a sardine, I just hook them right there, hard part of the nose. Slow trolling means I'm just barely, I'm just barely moving along. The tide's going this way at about three knots. I'm driving into it at like a knot and a half, so I'm actually going backwards, but it looks like we're going forward. And if you're coming into Jupiter to fish, get some live bait, come out here, use 50 to 80 pound fluorocarbon, or just regular mono, oh, just got picked up. Crap, I just got nailed, oh, just got picked up right there. A fish right there. And that, my friends, is what you're looking for. <laughs> I didn't expect it to happen quite that fast, but whatever. Let's see what it is. Once you get his head out of the water, you got him. Big old Bonita. All right, y'all, Uncle Larry is now firmly in the game. Looks up to something big. I don't know what it is, but he's taking drag like crazy. Yeah. Oh, that, that just got bit. Oh, come on. Come on. You got a fish here. <laughs> I, got, I got one here, too. What do you got? I don't know. I have no idea. Can't see it. This is what's so great about living and fishing in Jupiter. You can come out here and just have a ball. I mean, we haven't been fishing two minutes. Oh, uh, big bonita. Oh, nice. Biggest one I've ever caught. <laughs> it is a big bonita, huh? There we go. Hey, leave a comment. Let me know if you think this is what it's all about, having a great time off Jupiter. All right, Larry. <laughs> you said you want to go fishing. Say hey to Cindy. Hey, Cindy Lou. <laughs> How you doing, baby doll? <laughs> oh. So, you guys, Cindy is uh, Uncle Larry's girlfriend, who he has not stopped talking about since he's been down here. We're making us one heck of a chunk of slick. Now, you can come out here like this. Oh. There's already a shark here. Look at that. Well, I had three bonitas two seconds ago. They just come in and annihilate everything. These sharks are about to go nuts. Oh. Well, I think he just got my camera all kinds of wet. He did, yep. But you still got the fish. Let me back up a little bit, Robert, so we don't get the camera too wet. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Look at that. Now, I'm gonna pet this sucker. God, dog, these, these sharks are determined to get my camera covered in salt water. But I'm petting one of them on the head. Don't lose a hand out here. I ain't gonna, I don't want it, but I have to pet this shark. Come on. Come on. Well, he cooperated. Yeah, I want to grab him. Come on. <laughs> That's up close and personal. Hand me that camera. I'm gonna put you guys right in the right in the zone. You don't even know. You're gonna feel like you're about to get bit by this shark. A lot of sharks out here, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> Look right here. Oh. How rad! Oh, there's can. There's water all over the lens. Oh, pulling the rope. <laughs> this is all that's left of this video. Look. That's what you would look like. He just burnt my hands. He just chewed it right in half. 
Well, God only knows how uh, covered my lens is. Y'all probably can't even hardly see right now, but good thing I've got insurance on this camera because I think after today it's going to be ruined. Just a fun day out of Jupiter Inlet. We left the house around 1030 and we're having a ball. All right, so what we did, you guys, we came out here, we started snapper fishing, got a couple nice snapper. Now look at this hammerhead. Look at this. Come here, buddy. Come here. I love these sharks. These are such cool sharks. They're like the bloodhounds of the sea. They can smell anything. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Now, I'm just going to let him chew on it, and I'm going to bring him right over here and grab him by the head and give him a kiss. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Such a cool shark. Oh, what a gorgeous fish. Oh, look at it. What a beauty. There's no hook in this at all. So all we're doing is dropping this Benita back there and he's chewing on his head. But they don't have a ton of jaw pressure like the bull sharks and other reef sharks. Alright you guys, well today was pretty amazing. We went out, caught a ton of bait. We were catching bonitas and playing with the sharks and just having a great time. And uh, we caught some nice mutton snappers which we're going to take up to Larry's house to eat with his other half and her family. So tonight, we're eating dolphin ranches. Thank you.